what's up everybody welcome back to this video it's gonna be uh, a very fun video where I just wanted to make a distinction between uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum so because uh, uh, basically a lot of people are, are having trouble to differentiate Bitcoin and Ethereum but Ethereum is a uh, in the asset class is uh, just above uh, PayPal of a year and you know like uh, a lot of people try to uh, uh, confuse uh, between like Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum so let's come over here I'll show you over there like the chart for Bitcoin and just just to uh, give you an idea what, what it is and uh, what's going on um, and how I uh, basically different trade them and uh, so you you can have like an idea uh, based on that like uh, I just want to tell you uh, what basically how I different trade them and uh, so basically Ethereum as you know um, what it is basically just uh, a platform uh, that has been created you know and what it is is basically give all the uh, other people outside of the Bitcoin network the opportunity to come along and generate and create um, platform with decentralized access where people doesn't do people don't really have um, to go into a centralized um, uh, company to access assets they right? they can uh, do exchanges and um, uh, sales or uh, they can uh, uh, you know like use decentralized exchanges and all those things on the platform so they can create those things on ethereum right so basically it's like uh, it's like having um, um, the access to go um, to to these decentralized exchanges and um, do those transactions without any middleman right so this is what basically is ethereum so that's why you see those uh, um, uh, uh, platform just uh, programs created on Ethereum like you have like Aave, you have Uniswap, you have uh, One Inch, and all those uh, protocols created on Ethereum that you know facilitate those transactions. So it makes Ethereum very valuable. So this was a uh, um, from the past of a year and uh, there was a um, crypto winner of a year and basically you just keep rising um, you know in this bull run and you see the value of ethereum keep like skyrocketing and in the asset class it's just you know going up and up so we come over here ethereum is going up and up so basically this is what is ethereum right so now I look at Bitcoin uh, in a different angle Bitcoin uh, itself it's like it's like when you look at it as gold not it's not exactly gold but it comes with this ideology but in a different angle because we are in a digital age okay this big uh, Bitcoin basically it's it's for the uh, store value for the digital age okay this is the ideology I'm talking about the idol ideology of Bitcoin okay um, and when big Bitcoin comes along the people who are going to want to store values they want to go to Bitcoin but the people who want to use the Ethereum network over here who's uh, doing all these transactions and facilitating people to uh, 
inter interact with each other they're gonna go invest into ethereum uh, so basically at some point it's okay if ethereum becomes more valuable than bitcoin but the point is that bitcoin has a different trust of mindset it's not it's not like the same as ethereum because bitcoin is more like chasing the the store of all the values of those products you know like apple all these companies while ethereum is basically try to make those uh take those products of companies and put them on a decentralized way right so and this is why in the long run in a, an ideology like bitcoin can succeed uh, much more than ethereum ideology because uh bitcoin itself is just take all those values and store them somewhere okay so take all the the the, the worth all the of these companies and store them in one point in ethereum itself you just take those uh, companies and decentralize them so over here i'm just talking about the ideology uh, that doesn't mean that ethereum will is going to be the only uh, blockchain that's that will be able to do that there will be so many other blockchains like cardano Polkadot, um the cosmos so many of so all of those uh, blockchains will be will be, will be around and do the same thing like iota internet of things will be used um, to decentralize data in terms of machine to machine um, transactions and transfer of data and payment and all that so all those things will be used um, in a decentralized way but since ethereum is you know is having you know the first mover advantage so you see ethereum is just you know is is there but there will be so much more but uh, bitcoin itself uh bitcoin will need upgrades and it need to be improved to keep the same to be like at this position but the ideology of bitcoin is to store all this value in one place in the like my Michael Seller says in the cyberspace where everything can be stored and it can't be inflated and nobody can corrupt it and just break the code right so this is one so this is basically how I identified it right it just Bitcoin is just like a store of value for the dig digital age like uh, AI from um, Amazon they will use those values created to store it in this in this network okay right? so otherwise there will be anything stored in this fiat will be inflated right so this is uh just in a asset point of view but in the short term you will probably gonna see ethereum going up um and uh with the upgrades coming up you'll see um there will be upgrades of, uh a low, make the transaction phase uh lower and you know like that will get more and more people um if this happen people will continue to use the network if not uh people people will try to flood to um centralized exchanges like um uh binance that you know make transaction fees way cheaper and way faster and easier right so um yeah so people will use those more and uh bitcoin will keep being a decentralized uh, uh, store value and people will use uh basically more in more um other uh, chains like uh, people are using like a uh, binance chain um for uh, to transact bitcoin and they will use like uh, uh, lightning and other uh, platform to transact uh, you know like because most people don't want to make a transaction that will cost like hundred dollars right they will probably use other chain that will for once uh, like for 20 cents 25 cents transaction so which is way cheaper so you know uh, to wrap this up basically Bitcoin is a store of uh, 
of value in our assets and ethereum is more like a working product that is more concentrated on uh, uh, doing the work of you know um, all those uh, using the bitcoin network to in the value of the no it's using the ethereum network and ethereum values to facilitate those uh, transactions right the, the the ethereum coin is used to um help facilitate those good transactions but bitcoin itself is used to store those uh, values right so it's really the different ideology but um everybody is free to use whichever network to store their value on but you at least you have an idea of what you what it is what this next network is stand for right so cardano will have a network where basically people will uh, be able to use um, whichever um the coin they want to make a tra transactions where in ethereum you really need to use ethereum um coin to make a transaction so this is just uh, this type of uh, different difference uh, that you need to uh, understand so i hope this video was useful and uh, let me know if uh, if uh, you understand and let me know if you know if i can uh, explain better or what what is the better explanation you may have so share with us and let us know so uh, how can we improve and all that i hope you i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this was useful